back to Sunrise Daily. We're talking sports now. Namdeo Bayan joins us. He's a sports journalist. Thank you for coming on today. Good to be here. Well, lots of questions about this list already. Uh, yes, Keshi did say that he got boys who are hungry, uh, yeah. who got character, who are in the best shape. Those are some of the reasons he gave for the list and for those who were dropped. He says, look, above all, take it in good faith. What do you think about the list? Uh, I, I think, first of all, we, we need to actually look at who's on the list. It's Eyama, Ejide, Agbi, Miyobo, Echejile, Oshinowo, Obwabona, Egweke, Omero, Ambrose, okay. Odolami, Mikel, Onazi, Aziz, Uchebo, Gabriel, Dewinge, Musa, Amiobi, Emenike, Ababatune, Michael, Victor, Moses, um, Uchewofo. Okay. All these guys, um, to be fair to Keshi, all the defenders he called to the provisional man list, I think the eight of them, they all made it. Okay. No That's problem. The, 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 the issue started when we started seeing some people dropped that I don't think should have been dropped personally. So wait, what do we know about Kunle or Dolami? Uh, you see, it, it's, it's not just Kunle or Dolami. Kunle or Dolami, there's, I, there's actually nothing there's wrong Juan. with him or Juan or Shino. Um, these are all hungry defenders. Where we have the problem is going forward. Okay. We're taking only four standard midfielders, which is Mikel Obi, Onazi, Gabriel and Ramon Aziz. Trying to pass Uchebo off as a midfielder when his club circle Bruce clearly says he's a striker uh, do doesn't make uh, sense to me. What it, about the forwards? The, the forwards, uh, you know, we, we could have done without Babatunde Michael. Um, some people say um, Shola Miyobi could have been dropped. But I think a calm head who, we can, always, who can always help us switch it up when we need to float long balls in the box is, is needed. Our problem is mainly in the middle. We have a whole lot of talent missing. First of all, we don't have impact substitutes. You're soaking up pressure, you need an outlet. And EGK Ozonye can give you speed, pace, can help you launch a counter-attack. He was the MVP of the um, home nation tournament, Chan, but you dropped him. And some people from that Chan squad, same as him, still made it. You know, there's no reason why Ozonye is not in this squad. No, say Igebo. Um, Igebo's story particularly, there's, it's all rumor and hearsay. But there's rumor that um, he, some members of the NFF like him and try to pressure Keshe into taking him and he kicked adamantly against it. Um, but in Igebo's case, this is a proper central midfielder who has a lot of minutes, who was instrumental to the team winning the Nations Cup, who came on against Scotland and we saw the midfield immediately become very mobile. Ruben Gabriel, who um, he, he makes so much noise about, he, he plays in Belgium, in Beveren, he's done what, 275 minutes in two years, only five games, hasn't uh, scored a goal and didn't, didn't do anything for 90 minutes against Scotland, is the player you are trying to sell as the great top of the midfield of Nigeria. He looks out of sorts, doesn't look ready. It worries me. Um, Joel Obi, fantastic season with Parma, even ch almost dared to dream of the Champions League. Um, yes, a bit of fatigue, but it's somebody who has um, the ball sense and whose fitness can come back and can be very, very vital to us in that midfield. Um, John Ogu, I've, I've flogged that issue over and over again. Um, Ike Oche, we flogged that. Um, players like Sonia Aluko, who had, um, apart from injury, had a good season for Hall City, didn't even get a look in. Michael Olaito, who was in Champions League, if you missed him, he was one of the people who tormented Man U for Olympiacos, didn't even get a call. Bright ACMA, one of the um, shining lights of the Chan tournament. Um, this is a fantastic, versatile aim by defender who can play on the left or on the right and was even put to play in defensive midfield during the Chan tournament. He can also play central back. Wasn't uh, picked at all. We have Imo Ezekiel. Now, in the same Belgium way, you got an Uchebo who has 25 games and uh, what, an odd five goals in the club that came 11th. You have a striker for the team, standard league, that won. He played 32 games. He had, what, 10, 11 goals. Imo Ezekiel is on form. He's red hot. You think he gave him only one match since the whole Nations Cup, Confederations Cup, Chan, everything. Gave him one cap. Didn't give him a look in. Um, you have Sunday Oba, yes, wrong club to go to. He's now relegated to the French um, third division. But it, it's somebody you could still have. You said in discipline, he came late. Visa issues. Um, Odu <coughs> Amadi might also have been a victim of the same fate. You dropped Obina and so forth. Then for our goalkeepers, you insist on bringing Chigozi Agbim. Now, we have a lot of keepers. I mean, we have Agbe, we have um, Femi Thomas, who I've seen keep for Aimba. We have, I, I believe that between Worry Wolves and Aimba, if we needed backup defense, if we had issues in our defense, I mean, now you've brought um, Oshinawa and Odolami, but you, you keep playing um, Odolami out of position. You know, yesterday, Chijili had an injury. 
bring in Oshino or let him play that left back. No, you bring in Odolami, who shown during the Champ tournament as a central defender to play right back and switch every Ambrose, who is naturally like a centre back but can play right back to left back. Um, whole lot of issues. Um, right. Uchebo, when he came on, a lot of energy, but no um, proper decision making. A lot of straight passes. Um, looks like he's too eager to prove. Maybe he's the next Kanu, which will probably explain why he's wearing number 25 on the national team jersey, when the highest amount of players you can get in any national squad is 23. Um, he, 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 yes, he held things up, he agitates, he fights for loose balls, but right now you need quality. I'm not sure if Uchebo possesses that quality. Okay. Tell us about what you think of our match against Greece. Now, I, I predicted Keshi starting 11 because that's all we have. And that's Emenike in front of Osaze. Um, Moses, Musa, Onazi, and Mikel will sit. Then Obwabona, Ochejile, Omero, and Efe Ambrose will be the back line. That's all we have. We can't make any changes, and it showed against Greece. Um, Nigeria, we also still have some tactical problems. Yesterday, our set pieces were flat. It looks like we're still not training for them. And then um, I talked the last time I came about the Bosnia Cote d'Ivoire friendly, where I mentioned their long diagonals that cut Cote d'Ivoire out. Last night, Greece kept catching us. Too much space between the fullbacks and the centre backs because the fullbacks are going forward to help. Why? Mikel Onazi too central. Um, Musa and Moses too far forward. There's a gap that the fullbacks have to fill up. So Bosnia could do the same thing to us. Bosnia will do it, and the problem is if they do that to us and they make our centre backs spread a bit to cover the space. The fact that Jekyll likes to stand just on the edge of the box and cause trouble for defenders. And he's very versatile. He could turn, take a snapshot, he could move in close behind defenders. And where he stands does not allow the midfield and the defense to close up because he keeps the defense on their back foot. They could exploit us very, very greatly. My fear now is looking at that Greek match, um, Greek match yesterday, as old as Karagounis is, he was able to cause a lot of problems for us. And Yama had to make a number of good saves. We were shooting from distance. And this now begs the question if Keshi wants to put shooting from distance as part of the um, strategy for the team. Why are people like Ogu and Umba, who and Udu Hamadi and so forth, who we know are the regulars, are taking long range shots? Why is none of these players on the team? But you have a, a, a Babatunde Michael, who you claim is a striker, but whose club, uh, Velon in Ukraine, say he's a midfielder. I mean, his return is two goals in 25 games. I don't think um, that's the return for um, any type of, of, of striker. You know, you've had a Igweke on the bench, you've never used him in all this time coming up, at least to give your defence a rest. If a Chiejili has an injury, we're in serious problem because Nigeria has nothing but a first 11. Wow. Um, there is no way to switch the formation, there is no impact substitute, um, there is no way to soak up pressure and um, change it if we see an op the opponents do something different. It, it looks very, 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 very dicey for us and it's very well, worrying. I, I guess we'll have to wait for that uh, next match against the US to see <laughs> one more assessment of these lads and see what eventually happens. I'd like to thank you for coming on this morning. Uh, Nam Devine is a sports journalist. We'll be back in just a moment. Join us again.
Okay, welcome back. Well, okay, yeah, we can take uh, Presley's comment about it. Last week, Hack says, I paid 250 naira to be educated in the best law faculty in Lasso up to 2002. What is the justification for 350,000 naira now? That's, that's a 250 will be tuition alone, I reckon. 250 naira? Sorry, 250 naira, yeah, for tuition. Excluding know. all of the fees. No, there wasn't any tuition then. Uh, maybe it was just uh, some form of a registration uh, fee. Yeah, there, there was that 250. Yeah, registration fee, not mm, no there wasn't tuition at that time. That, it was, it's infinitesimal. That's why they say they paid next to nothing. Well, uh, this is uh, from Alakunli. It says, uh, I'm an indigenous of Lagos adopted in Finland. Education of foreigners here is free. Lagos State Government can reduce lasso fees. At least he didn't say you should make it free. So at least that's some middle point. <laughs> Dustin says education is a social responsibility of the government. When you take education away from the poor, how are they to better their lot? That's Dustin's standpoint. And time's, uh, time to go. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm Chamberlain also. Well, thank you. I'm Malque Ogun. Many thanks. I'm Sly Man. Ah, lady. Bye-bye.